Finally, after years, I've come to a simple solution for this problem. These doors just swing open and closed in the breeze, and the typical solution is to use one of these little latches. But I have to be honest, it's a pain. But the solution that I've come up with, since I'm lazy, involves two of my favorite things, PVC and golf balls. Let's start by cutting out a few pieces of PVC to around 15 sixteenths of an inch. I am admittedly a bit uncomfortable cutting into PVC this way on a bandsaw because you have to kind of apply pressure this way to spring it to keep it from springing shut as you go through, else you risk it binding and flipping it in and taking your fingers with it. So one way to do it is to stop the bandsaw after you pass through and pull it back out. But certainly another way that you can do it is to just go use the hacksaw. Golf balls are reasonably well standardized with respect to their size. So assuming that you're using a pipe that's an inch and a half inside diameter, you should get a nice fit if you cut away about a 115 degree portion of the pipe. If you're just measuring the gap in the pipe, that's approximately an inch and a quarter before sanding these. If you just want to guesstimate it, it looks like this. The fit is still far too tight, so I'm going to sand the inside edges a little bit. I suppose it's worth mentioning that if you wanted it to have a stronger clamping pressure, you could just add length here. So, if you want to drill a hole right from the North Pole to the South Pole on a golf ball, it's easy enough if you use a drill press, and everybody knows this trick. You just drill out a nest for your golf ball, and without moving this, you replace the bit to something else, and you'll be done. But most of you probably don't have a drill press, so I'll show you a different trick. First, pick a point, and we will be drilling through this point. We're looking for the great circle, you know, the equator, but we don't know what it is, but at least we can guess, and that will be close enough. Now we move our compass point to our circle, and we arbitrarily make marks moving around the circle and a picture will start to emerge as we do this. Well, through incredible coincidence, in my case, I got lucky and I found the point. But usually you'll draw a little circle here, and in the middle of that circle is the opposite pole. If I keep my original circle nice and parallel to the pipe, it will make it easier to drill straight through its north pole. I'm not drilling the whole way through because my plan is to connect the two holes in the middle. That tells you how close you are. That's not bad, but a drill press is still better. If you don't mind, I'm going back to the drill press now to add the countersink for this screw. And for doing that, good, better, best. Now my application is probably going to be a little bit different from yours, but no matter what, 
the space between the wall and the door is going to be about two inches now because of this apparatus. This will probably be difficult to see, but notice the pencil mark, which is the center of the clamp. And I have it in the center of the ball so that the clamp is perfectly square with the door as it closes. If the ball touches both sides of the clamp at the same time, you nailed it. Most latches require two hands to operate, so this system can be a real upgrade. And since I'm sure that you also probably have annoying doors in your life, let me know it if you find any applications for this. I'd like to hear about any ideas you might have.